Hi fellow collectors and YouTubers, so today I am going to be uh, opening my first Nerd Block box. I got this uh, mainly because it had exclusive Weird Al Yankovic items in. I'm a big fan of Weird Al Yankovic, was lucky enough to see him in concert last year and it was absolutely awesome. Uh, he's touring again, hopefully I'll be able, he'll come over again, it was his first time in Scotland last year. Uh, I knew that there was going to be a exclusive version of this figure, which I managed to get signed last year. Uh, that didn't persuade me enough and then when I saw that there was going to be uh, one of his books, uh, I decided to jump on board. I didn't know what the third item was uh, and I did watch uh, the review spots uh, unboxing to see what it was so I do know. So here we have the figure. It's basically what he looks like now. No moustache, no glasses. I think I will leave this um, in the box so just a comparison here's the two the shirt's the same I thought the shirt was different maybe it's just a slightly different colour on the flowers I thought there was a bit more difference than that and yep yeah. no moustache no glasses and maybe a different shade on the hair, just slightly different shade. But yep, yeah, it's nice having the two. So that's the first thing in the box. Next up is uh, a cooler, Family Guy cooler. Or heater if you want to keep your drinks hot. I always have my coffee freezing cold. Family Guy's hit and miss for me. Not really that big a fan. I do like the Star Wars episode though. This is a t-shirt. tacky that's what he came into on his tour I'll put a link in if you want to watch them of the videos that I shot of the tour of the concert and that is from Shirt Punch I think they've got a deal going Nerd Block and Shirt Punch I don't know if I'll wear that or not. I like to keep my t-shirts. Uh, the print intact. don't like to wear it out. So, that's another thing. Archer. I don't watch the show, but you've got um, ice cube trays here. Quite nice. But, yeah, you can see you there. Got Archer in the middle. Let's actually take it out and have a proper look. Uh, so you've got some pigs there, uh, piglets, Archer bottles of whiskey or something, and some more pigs or piglets. Arch's face means nothing to me as I don't watch a show. And here we have the book, quite a big book as well. So I think it is worth the money. Definitely a good book. I won't go through the whole thing, so I'll be here all day. don't know what it goes up to though. Don't know if it includes mandatory tour. 
not mandatory at all, but mandatory. Should say at the back what the last one was. Mandatory fun, that was it. Yep, so it's definitely up to date. What does it say in the back how much it is? No, inside, it doesn't matter. On with the show. So that's definitely that and the figure, I think that worth it. Uh, space balls, so the Swatch Awakens and mine comes damaged. That's not very good. These are definitely, in my opinion, in the style of Oli Moss. Uh, the one that I saw on the review spot was uh, in a different style. Uh, still Spaceball. So I was hoping that there will be something else from Spaceball. Something other than a print. That and... Uh, Weirdo Yankovic are main, basically why I got this. So, April's theme is parody, uh, nerd, nerd exclusive, nerd block. April 2016, The Simpsons 25th anniversary Weird Al action figure. Imagine a guest appearance so legendary that uh, an action figure is made to honour it. That's the power of Weird Al Yankovic, complete with his trusty accordion and episode biography. This exclusive paint variant come collectible is so impressive that you just that you might just want to keep it in the packaging. I was gonna say something but I forgot what it was. Ugh. Uh, another nerd block exclusive is the t-shirt Weird Al Tacky. This t-shirt from our friends at Shirt Punch is anything but tacky. Wear those stripes with plaid, loud and proud, while rocking this exclusive tee. Uh, Spaceballs art print. There's three of them. You can see there, so it's definitely. Uh, Mimicking Oli Moss, uh, that's the one that I saw, the uh, John Candy one. And you also got uh, the Joan Rivers one, uh, it's a bit strange. Uh, Rick Moranis, he's gone into seclusion, he's not doing any more work. And John Candy, Joan Rivers have both passed away, so. Chances of a Spaceball sequel, very, very slim. This super cool print brings this 80s satirical parody of the original Star Wars trilogy to life in its finest form. Up for grabs, either Bath, Dark Helmet or Dark Matrix. May the swatch be with you. And another exclusive is Weird Al the Book. This exclusive book is the ultimate glimpse into Weird Al Yankovic's distinguished career. It covers more than three decades of hilarious songs, videos, concert performances and so much more. Relax and revel in the undisputed king of pop culture's life story. But I have heard that people have do have this book so I don't know how it's an exclusive family guy koozie there's no easier way to keep your drink cold and your hands warm than with this koozie featuring one of America's funniest families just pop in your favorite beverage and prepare to chill ha huh, pun intended Archer ice cube tray why create boring ice cube when you can create ice cold works of art. This ode to Master Spy Sterling Archer uh, is a great way to enjoy a drink or free. 
feeling bold, get creative and make art terrific frozen treats. And at the bottom, I think this is for next uh, month. This May Nerd Block Classic will have a, a an, it should be, no, not a ectoplasmic exclusive from uh, Ghostbusters. Also, this month's Nerd Block contains two exclusives, along with other classic items from Back to the Future, Rick and Morty, plus a guaranteed Funko Pop. So, that's all that was in this uh, Nerd Block Classic Month. I'll just go over it again. Uh, grab the t-shirt first. We have the uh, tacky t-shirt. The uh, print. Damaged print. Uh, the figure, uh, exclusive figure, the book, a very large book as well. I don't know if it says how many pages are in it. There's over 200 pages in that book, so quite impressive. And the uh, Archer Cool Tray. And I don't know where the uh, cooler's gone now, so we'll just forget about that for now. Cooler's gone missing, so never mind. So I hope you enjoyed that look at this. Uh, my first no block. I don't know if I'll continue getting them. I highly doubt it. Uh, this was probably just a once-off. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care. Oh, there it is. Peace to all. Bye.